What's going on mobile gamers? Today I'm going to show you guys how to root your Odin 2 using Windows. So let's jump in and level up our Android knowledge. A little disclaimer before we get into rooting our Odin 2. I am not responsible if you don't follow my guide word for word if you end up damaging or bricking your Odin 2. As this is for anybody that feels confident enough, I have done the rooting process and removable removal of rooting on this Odin 2 multiple times to make sure that it works properly and that it's fully rooted to be able to do things that you wouldn't be able to do normally with an unrooted device. So let's jump in. With that out of the way, I'm not responsible once again if you root your device and you break it. That is all up to you. If you follow this guide, you'll root your device in under 15 minutes using the method with all the files I have supplied you shown during this process. You do need a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 computer for this to work. This process, as you can see, it's 9.07 p.m. right now. On Sunday, it took me about a day and a half to realize there's another mode on this device called Fastboot D. And this process is very easy. It works with Windows. You don't need anything else. So let's jump in and start doing it. The very first thing you're going to do is download the files in the link in the description below called rootodin2.zip. Save these files to your desktop for now. The next thing you're going to do on your device, which is your Odin 2, go to your settings, go all the way down to the bottom, go to about handheld console, go all the way down to the bottom, Make sure you are on version 1.0.0.2208 underscore 2023-1201. That is the version that we are going to be rooting today. That is the latest version as of today, which is December 17th, 2023. Now, tap on that build number multiple times on your device. Keep doing so until you see an option that says you are now our developer. Click the back button. Click system. Click... Developer options. Go all the way down, keep going, keep going, until you see USB debugging. Turn that on, click OK. Now, close all that out. We are now going to plug our device into a USB Type-C to USB Type-C, or a USB Type-C to USB-A. If your cord doesn't seem to work, or recognize the device, then try another cord, try another USB port, as that is a thing. Click the checkbox for file transfer. As we're going to be copying some files over to the device from that zip file that's on your computer. Now on your computer, extract that zip file that you downloaded below. Extract it to the desktop. Now that that's extracted, we're going to navigate inside the root Odin 2 folder. We're going to navigate inside the important Android root applications, and we're going to copy these. Now, open up another file manager, either with the tabs option at the top, or right click file manager, go file manager or file explorer, navigate to your Odin 2, go to your internal storage, create a folder in here, show more options, new folder called root files. I like to keep things organized, this is up to you, but I'm gonna keep these files in here. These are just APKs for us to check if we're rooted, to explore all our root options, and to patch our image. The next thing we're going to do is navigate back to that folder called root odin2. We are going to copy, not move, copy this init underscore boot image. This is the default boot image for our device. So control C, copy it and paste it into the root files folder on your odin2. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate back to our odin2. We're going to unplug it from our computer. We're going to navigate to our files. Go to your internal storage on your device. Go down to that root files folder. Open up Magisk 26.4. We're going to install it with package installer. Click always, click continue. Now that might not pop up if you don't have Termex installed like I do. So don't worry about that. Just install it like regular. Click install, click open, click allow. Now, the top option for installing Magisks is the one that we're going to do. 
So we're going to click install, select and patch a file, click on the three lines, go to your Odin 2, go to your root files, click on the init underscore boot image. Now click let's go. That is going to patch your boot image. We're going to need to know that location, which is going to be in your downloads folder. Click back, click back again. We're going to install an application called root checker. Click continue, click install, click done. Click root explorer, click continue, click install, click done. Don't open those yet. Close these out. Now we're going to plug our device back into our computer. We're going to click file transfer. That is very important. Now back on the computer, we're going to right click on our file manager, open it up, navigate into our Odin 2, go to internal shared storage, go to your downloads, and we're going to look for that file, the Magisk patched 26400 file. We're going to copy that. We're going to copy that inside of our root Odin 2 folder, inside of our platform tools folder, and paste it right there. Now, the next thing, we're going to right click. We're gonna make sure that nothing's highlighted here. We're gonna right click in here by holding down control and selecting open in terminal. Now, a terminal is gonna pop up. If you've never navigated through a terminal before, don't be scared about this because this is gonna be something that's very easy to understand. Go to notepad. So we're gonna open up a notepad. Now, ignore that. <laughs> That is just basically what we're going to be typing in in a few minutes. The first thing we're going to do is go dot forward slash ADB start forward slash server. So now that we have that notepad open, we're going to copy and paste just like so. Now that server has been started. As you can see, a little dialog window has popped up. Allow USB debugging. Click the checkbox, click allow. Now, Quick test, we can go ADB, reboot. This will reboot our device. This isn't doing anything other than rebooting the device. While we're waiting for that to reboot, we're going to go back into our notepad. You're gonna type in dot four slash fastboot, slash, and that is about it for now. Now you're gonna to navigate to the platform tools folder. You're gonna go right click, Magisk's patched, you're going to click rename, highlight the whole thing, and click control C to copy the name of that file. You're going to go back to your notepad, and you're going to paste that in there. This is just getting us prepped for patching and flashing that patched image. Back on our device. Swipe it open once it's been rebooted. Click allow on file manager. Now, back on your computer, you're going to go dot forward slash adb reboot fast boot all just like i have done on the computer click enter now all that's rebooting into fast boot we are going to go to our search option we're going to type in device manager you should see an option for device manager on the left hand side click on it and click open now while we're waiting for that device to open, we're gonna go over to where it says other devices. As you can see, it tried to refresh. We can see our Odin 2 has a little exclamation mark. We're going to fix that. Right click on that, click update driver. Click browse my computer for drivers. Click browse, click your desktop, click root Odin 2. Now go down to where it says USB underscore driver. Click on that and click okay. Click next and wait for it to do its thing. And now we've automatically installed or manually install, installed the Android bootloader interface. Click close. Now we have that bootloader interface. To tell that we're actually in fast boot mode, we're gonna go dot forward slash fast boot devices. Now this is going to list our serial number for our device. You can see your serial number on the device as well, just to make sure that you have the correct device plugged into your computer. Again, make sure you don't have any other Android devices so that we don't mess up anything. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna go dot forward slash fast boot, get VAR current dash slot. We need to make sure that we're flashing our 
patched firmware to the right slot. And how we can tell is by slot A. There's a slot B as well, but we don't need to worry about that since we're at slot A. If you're at slot B, you're gonna do the same thing that I'm gonna be doing here. Go back to your notepad. Put a space bar. Go back with your arrow. Now, flash in it, I-N-I-T underscore boot underscore A. Now notice the boot image name right here. This is just the default boot image. We can reflash this boot image back to its original form without any question, but we don't have the option to see which boot image this is going to flash. We don't need to worry about that though. All we're doing is flashing our partition on boot image A. So if you have current slot set to B, you're gonna change this to B for example. But we're going to set it to A just because we are currently on slot A. Now we're going to copy this entire line. We're gonna go back into our PowerShell, click paste, so control V, and then click enter. Now we have two OKs, that is perfect. That means that we have flashed it perfectly fine and no issues occurred. Click forward slash, fast boot, reboot. Now the device is gonna reboot and we'll be rooted and ready to go with our rooted Android Odin 2 in 2023. Now, to check that we have been rooted, we're gonna click File Manager. We're gonna go to Root Checker Pro. We're gonna click Agree, click OK, click Verify Root. Now a little dialog window is going to pop up to grant root access. Click grant. Congratulations, this device has root access. With that little dialog window popping up, that also means that it has root access. Now, certain devices or certain applications will require this to grant root access at all times. So a root explorer, for example, it's asking the same thing. We're going to grant that root access. And the reason why I want to grant that root access is just because I want to be able to access certain folders like my data mirror folder, my data CE folder, my null, my zero. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'm gonna show you something very, very cool, which is our com.mojang, our games, our com.mojang again. And there's our Mojang Minecraft worlds. These are the worlds that are defaulted into the internal worlds. And you can normally never manage those. So you can manage these, copy them from your computer, and paste them into your rooted Odin 2. Anything else in regards to rooting your Odin 2 is all up to you. Installing modules, installing other third-party things that I'm not going to mention, that's all up to you. Certain modules need you to install them so you can play games like Fortnite. Otherwise, you can just unroot your device again by flashing that default init underscore boot image back to your device by doing the method that I just taught you today. Enjoy your rooted Odin 2 at Christmas time when you receive it.